Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Crouch Hook in Unreal Engine. As you can see, if I try to walk underneath this obstacle, I can't because I'm too big. But if I crouch, my capsule radius decreases and I can now walk underneath it. I will also show you how to make it a bit smoother when we change our character's capsule radius from when he's standing to when he's crouching. Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Crouch Hook in Unreal Engine. So the first thing we want to do is head over to the mannequin folder and go to where his animations are. And we're going to import some crouching animations that our character will do when he's crouching. So I'm going to close Unreal and drag in these crouching animations. I'll leave a link in the description where you can download them. For the skeleton, you want to select the view for mannequin skeleton, then click import all. Then we can open up Unreal Engine again and we're going to right click, look for animation and blend space 1D, select the view for mannequin skeleton and I will call this my crouching blend space. We want to double click and go inside here. And where it says crouching idle, we're going to drag this and place it where it says zero. And where it says crouch walk, we're going to drag this in and place it where it's at 100. So when my character is crouching, if he's at a speed of zero, he'll just be doing this animation. And if my character is crouching and he begins to have a higher speed, he'll start to do his crouching walk animation. Now that we have this, we're going to just click save and we can close this. Next, we're going to add this to our character's animation blueprint. So if we head over to the third person animation blueprint, we want to head over to his idle slash run state. So this controls whether my character enters his idle or his running animations. We're going to right click here and look for break link. And then we're going to drag in our character's crouching blend space that we just made. And we're going to drag in the speed. And then we're going to right click and look for blend by ball. And for this, you want to right click and click promote to variable and we'll call this is crouching. Off of the true, we're going to plug this into our crouching blend space. And off false, we're going to plug this in here. And we're going to plug this in here. So what this will mean is, if our character is crouching, we'll make him enter his crouching blend space. And if our character is not crouching, then we'll just make him do his normal idle slash run blend space. And then we need to head over to the event graph. And where it says get movement component, we need to drag off this and look for is crouching. And then we're going to drag in our is crouching variable and click set is crouching and plug this in here, plug this here, and this into here, and then click compile. So now our animation blueprint will be able to tell if our player is crouching, and if our player is crouching, we'll make him enter the crouching animation. Now we're going to head over to the third person character and make it so he can crouch and do the animation. So to do this, just select the third person character, click edit third person character, and then in some free space, I'm going to right click and look for the C key, and I'm going to make it when my player presses the C key, he'll begin to crouch. So that you can crouch, we're going to right click and look for crouch. So this is just built into Unreal Engine so the character can crouch by default. And then I'm going to right click again and look for uncrouch. So when my player presses the C key, I'll make it so he crouches. And when he releases it, I'll make it so he stops crouching. So that he can actually crouch, we need to head over to character movement. And under the details, you want to look for crouch. And just check this button called can crouch. When he crouches, you can control the speed that he goes at. So by default, when he crouches, he moves to a speed of 300 and the half height of his capsule is set to 40. So that we can actually see the capsule decreasing when he crouches, head over to capsule component and look for hidden in game and just leave this unchecked and click compile. Now if we click play, we can see the capsule. When I press the C key, his capsule decreases and now my player can crouch. As you may have noticed, when I press the C key, it can look a bit janky. If you want it to be a bit smoother, head over to camera boom and look for lag and just click enable camera lag. Also don't forget if you head over to character movement and go to crouch if you want to change the half height of the capsule so if I made it something like 60 it'll be a bit taller. Now if I click compile and click play when I press the C key it's a bit smoother and his capsule is more matching of his size. So that's basically how to set up crouching in Unreal Engine. If you enjoyed like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.